Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am unboxing a beautiful work of art from Ana Salvador, um, Dragonfly Work Stalls. And I have two of her gorgeous creations already. And I wanted to add Poppy to my collection. Poppy is one of her newer sculpts. And I really, um, I'm really excited about this one. I've seen pictures of her already and she's gorgeous. Everything that Anna does is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Now she is in the Netherlands and um, she shipped this to me maybe a week ago and it's already here so it might have been a little more than a week but it wasn't much more um, so it seems like shipping is improving a lot well this is taped up really well on the inside um, it seems like shipping has improved a great deal which is good let's see there's like a I think I opened from the bottom that's what happened here I opened the bottom instead of the top all right so her dolls when you get a full set you know it may be if you get a full set or a blank I'm not sure because I've never bought one of her blank dolls but her dolls always come in one of these beautiful wooden boxes okay so um, they're really like a keepsake box for keeping her dolls safe. Of course, I don't keep my dolls in the boxes, um, but they are really nice to have. It's like a really nice touch that go with her dolls. So you see there's the art dolls by Ana Salvador on the bottom of the box. And I'm so excited to reveal this girl. So excited. Okay. Well, the box got a little banged up in shipping, but you see inside there's the dragonfly. So that's her, um, I guess her mascot, because she's dragonfly works. And then here's Poppy. She's number 29. Yay. And she's resin now. She makes really gorgeous porcelain dolls as well. Um, like really gorgeous ones that are just fantastic. I don't have one of those. Eventually one day I would like to get one because they're really, really amazing, like so beautiful. Um, but for now I've got, this will be my third resin cutie of hers. Oh my word, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's get her opened up and take a look at her. We gotta keep opening. We're gonna keep going here. And her dolls, so you can get a wide range with her dolls because she has, I'll link her website and you can check it out because you can add wig, you can add glass blown eyes, you can add outfits, shoes, um, you can add painting, you can add, there's so many things you can add or you can get the doll basic, nude and blank, and then you can do your own thing with it, which is great for people that like to customize their own dolls. I like that she has such a wide variety of choices available. Oh, I smell mm, new resin smell. I love the new resin smell. Let's see if I can just pull her out of here. Oh, y'all, look at her. Oh, her little mouth is open. I don't know why this is the first time I'm noticing that. But she's got her little teeth showing. Oh, she is so beautiful. She's so dainty. She's smaller than the other dolls that I have from Anna. So I have, um, oops, her shoe came off in her bubble wrap. I have um, Olivia and Emily, which they, this is she, Poppy is not the same body as those two. Those two. She is on a more delicate body. Uh, let me see if I can pull this one off without, yeah. Look at those little shoes. Oh my gosh. How adorable is that? But she makes these amazing dresses out of vintage fabrics and laces and things like that. And I just really love like how exceptionally beautiful everything of hers always is. It is just, it's something else. Fun fact for you guys. A lot of y'all ask me if my husband collects, and he's not, he collects records. But um, 
Ana Salvador is one of his favorite artists. He's met her in person, so that helps a lot. Most of his favorite artists are ones that he's met in person, but he really likes her work. He think when he look, he's told me the first time he saw her dolls, he was like, "Those are really exceptional. Like a lot of work has gone into those. Those are like really artful pieces." And I was like, "Yeah, they are. Let's buy some." <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, y'all, she is beautiful. And she's got like a like a grayish green eye. And I love this wig. So one of my my Emily is um my Emily has red hair. My Olivia has brown hair. So I, she asked me what color hair and I said, Well, I have a red head and a brown haired doll. Maybe I should get a blonde. And as a special, so she doesn't normally do this for Poppy because Poppy's very small. Poppy's a very, very slight and small doll compared to her other dolls. Gosh, while I'm saying that, look at those tiny hands and look how delicately painted they are. Her dolls are really, really exceptional. If you want to splurge on a doll for yourself and you really want something outstanding, Ana Salvador's dolls are an amazing way to go. They are a really great way to spoil yourself on a beautiful doll and really have a gorgeous art piece in your collection. And you can reach out to her. She runs pre-orders, but sometimes she also has where you can order a full set doll if you wanted a full set, which is what I recommend, of course. Um, and uh, like I said, just one of the best splurges you can get. So as a special, she made her a little dolly figurine and she like she told me she doesn't normally do these for poppy so this is very special so thank you so much Anna for doing this because I am just in love with this girl already I love her teeth I don't know why y'all it's funny when you see a doll so many times in a picture and I never noticed the teeth before and I love dolls with teeth so much so that is just so cool that she has little teeth and then I've, she's got her little doll here so all three of my girls have their little dolls which are so precious I love these so much um, they're so sweet oh my word oh my word she is she really is a work of art like these are hand sculpted and painted. And then of course she sculpts the dolls, but these are um, the porcelain dolls. She does everything from scratch. Like, you know, she, I think she fires them. I don't know what the right terminology fires them at her house and stuff like that and finishes them. These resin dolls, gosh, the hands are just so delicate and they're so delicately painted. Oh, she's so beautiful. And underneath her skirt, I just want to show you guys. She's got like these little um, she's got some little shorts on, so she's got some undies, and this skirt is a couple of layers, like, and I think it's been tea dyed to give it that nice vintage look. You can see, like, how that looks. Her stuff is so beautiful. I can't, my words don't do it justice. Like, it's one thing, like I said, to see pictures of it. Like, I saw a picture of her doesn't do her justice. I mean, that these dolls in person are just some of the most fantastic, most beautiful works of art. I am going to, um, they start for a full set around a thousand euros, in case you're wondering. Um, and that includes your wig, your eyes, the painting, and the gorgeous outfit. Her dolls are just so defined by her outfits to me like I think it's a mo I redress her dolls once in a while I have some really lovely clothes made by my friend Eva of Louie's wardrobe for her dolls but her dolls I love to have the full set because they're just so defined by her style of clothing it's just it's just outstanding and then if you um, if the little characters are available which they're only available if you get a full set she has little animals and then little dolls like this that will add on to your price because this is this is a little tiny work of art on its own i've seen people out out there in the world asking just to buy these like putting up want to buys they just want to buy the little figures that she does um i think they're out of polymer clay because they're so um they're so amazing and they're so like um 
I won't say hard to get, but you can only get them with a full set. And sometimes she doesn't even, like for Poppy, she really doesn't do them. So <laughs> this is very special. So I'm very excited, but she is, she's so sweet. Her little arms are so delicate. I'm seeing, um, she was telling me that it's, it'll be hard for her to hold because her little arms are delicate, but I think I'll be able to tuck her in there and let her hold her on display. Oh y'all, she's so beautiful. She's so like, I keep saying beautiful, I know, but she really is. She's just fantastic. Everything about this doll, just from the, the details on the, the dress to the little figure, to how gorgeous and soft the face painting is and how delicate the facial mold is. It's just so delicate and painted so beautifully. So anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to leave her information below. I'm gonna leave a link to her website and you can reach out to her through there if you want to find out if you can place your order for your own doll. I heard rumors that she's gonna be releasing a new doll at some point this year. So pay attention for that because there's gonna be an ordering period. And whenever she has a pre-order, she usually does take orders for the full sets. So it's just, of course, there's a waiting period because something like this takes time. I mean, these are all like handmade, everything's done by hand. So it takes a little bit of time, but I'll leave it all below so you guys can check it out. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Jenny C, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Angela E, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, and Victory Run. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue to bring you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please be sure to check the video description and see the link. Thank you.